Kia ora and welcome along to Monday's forecast from us here at Met Service. Well, a bit of a mixed bag this week. We've got a little bit of everything. We've got warm temperatures, we've got cold temperatures, we've got snow, we've got more wind and we've got rain as well. But by the end of the week, hopefully we're looking at some fine weather to come. We'll start off though by looking at the satellite picture. You can see some nice clear skies across the eastern side of the south side. More cloud though on that western coast and we've got some thunderstorms in the mix as well. We're all, we've all, we are already going to find some heavy rainfall pushing in towards western. We've got some warnings out for western, even up in towards the Tasman area as we go through the rest of today, Monday and in towards Tuesday. Being pushed across by some fairly brisk northwesterly winds, that rainfall moving across in towards Canterbury as well. So some warnings for the headwaters there. So we have got some more watches and warnings. You can see though, this next area of low pressure is edging towards us, set to bring a rather a wet looking day for Tuesday across the top of the South Island and that middle part of the country. Further north, we're looking at some showers, but still, I think one or two fairly hefty ones amongst that as well. The wettest weather though is on that western coast. You can see we've got the return of some snowfall as we head through the night time, Monday into Tuesday, especially places like the Mackenzie country and those higher alpine passes across the South Island, one to watch out for as we head in towards Tuesday. The North Island, a bit more cloud from time to time across the western side, but generally it's a drier story than that very active weather across the South Island. Even out towards the eastern coast, we'll find a fairly cloudy and wet looking night and a fairly cloudy, wet looking start to Tuesday morning as well. In terms of our temperatures, a real noticeable difference between the far south, two degrees Celsius, and 14 or so once we head up towards Northland and Auckland. So further north, it's not nearly as cold as you go through and towards the early hours of Tuesday. Now for Tuesday, we keep hold of that band of wet weather across the top of the South Island. Some heavy falls to watch out for again, particularly for places like uh, the Tasman District. That snowfall will edge away. You can see everything is improving across the South Island as the high pressure builds through. And the North Island, we're gonna watch out for some showers springing up as we head through the daytime. Some of those can be fairly heavy, perhaps even with some rumbles of thunder for places like, say, Auckland, down towards Topo, and even in towards parts of Manawa too as well. But we are going to find it's much warmer across the North Island Highs, back into the uh, low 20s for many places. You can see, though, as we go across the, the North Island, the best of the weather is going to be on the eastern coast. Some nice clear skies for parts of Hawke's Bay and Gisborne. High cloud feeds towards us. As we go through the daytime, we'll find showers starting to spring up across that western side. And some of those, those darker blues you can see fairly heavy. As we go in towards the afternoon, where those winds come together, we get a bit of convergence from, say, Auckland down towards, say, Rotorua and towards Topo. This kind of area, those northern parts of Waikato may find one or two fairly heavy, perhaps thundery showers as we head through the daytime. We could also find some fairly hefty old showers down around Manawa too and across and towards parts of Wairapa. So I think we are going to find the end of the day, even down towards Wellington is a cloudier and wetter story. So if you're looking for the best of the place to be to stay dry, you can't go far wrong with places like uh, Napier. It looks to be a pretty decent day there in terms of weather and also temperature wise, 25 degrees Celsius, our minimum temperatures, 12 degrees Celsius. Keep that in mind that when we go down towards the South Island, our max of 25, our min of 12. As we go down towards the South Island, we have got that large swathe of uh, rain across the far northern parts. So we've got some heavy rainfall warnings for parts of uh, Westland, Tasman District, even in towards the Canterbury area. You can see that rain feeding on towards uh, Christchurch, Canterbury as well. So it's a wet old story. That heavy snowfall watch for parts of the Mackenzie country as well. And some road snowfall warnings for places like Arthur's Pass, Lewis Pass and across in towards uh, Lindus as well. So it's well worth keeping in mind we've got some snowfall across some of those higher passes for the start of Tuesday. Everything moves northwards. So down south, it's an improving story. We've got some fine weather returning for Fjordland later on, albeit on the cool side. Here are our temperatures for the day. So remember that minimum of 12 we had for Napier? That's our maximum we're expected to see in Christchurch on Tuesday. So it's a much cooler feeling day on the south Island. Best temperatures up in the far north, 19 degrees Celsius, with some of that warmer air being dragged down towards us. But generally it's a cloudy and wet looking day, some heavier falls on the western coast and I think we are going to find even out towards the east it's uh, fairly cloudy. Things will get better and clearer as we head through the night time, especially down south, but we've got those cold temperatures to watch out for Queenstown. 11 degrees Celsius by day, back down to freezing as we head in towards the early hours of Wednesday morning. Now for Wednesday, you can see we've got that low pressure up towards the north. It's a really slow moving feature and I think the majority of that is going to stay to the north, but it keeps feeding that warm air across the North Island. Down south, 
it's not as warm, but it's generally not a bad story. A brief ridge of higher pressure builds towards us. And I think as we head through Wednesday and even through towards Thursday, there's plenty of clear sky and sunshine across the south side. And you can see up in the far northern parts of the country, we'll keep hold of that rain and wet weather feeding in towards places like north, and particularly from that eastern coast. But from the bulk of the country, as we head through towards Thursday, there's plenty of clear weather, plenty of dry uh, spells, and I think plenty of sunshine, especially across the South Island as well. But we are going to find a real difference between those temperatures on the North Island and a cooler fill down on the South. That's it from me, this is from metservice.com.